Hello everyone, welcome to the monthly winner box here at Grey Ogre Games. It's part of our Road to the Invitationals. My name is Mick, I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro, Alfian Poon. We're watching a match here between Reeve Chia, uh, sorry, Reeve Chia on the right hand side and Jeffrey Chan on the left. Looks like Jeffrey is playing blue, red control and Reeve That's is expected. playing... Yeah, of course, of course Jeffrey has to play it. I'm trying to use my DJ voice, man. Yeah, of course, Jeffrey has to play that that blue red control. And Reeve here looks like he's playing a spicy brew, man. Oh, is this yeah, three. Um, sul the blue white? Sultites. No, it's no. That's white. Look, that's, that's combustible. So there's Bant, Bant, Delirium, uh, re Reanimator, something like that. Know, Most likely, yeah. Uh, anyway, cool brew, cool brew that starts off. Uh, milling away using the what's this the uh, uh vessel yeah vessel of nascent sea, and here keeping two blue mana up maybe for counter spell no, maybe, who maybe, knows maybe maybe yeah uh but this for those of you who have been watching and been following right Reef Chia and Jeffrey Chan have faced off before and that was in the finals of our uh seasonal qualifier number one. And so this is the grudge match. This is the revenge match, uh, some might say. Okay, so, oh, I know what this deck is. What? God Pharaoh's Gift. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. it's Ban God Pharaoh's Gift. And uh, there, Reeve here starting off with a Sun Scourge Champion. Okay. That's the one. That's, that, that's right. Yeah, that's, that right? That's, 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 right. Okay. that's right. Oh, is, is Rian here already? Yeah, he's here. Okay, great. So they they playing. They playing. Play. You, however, you playing also. I also playing. But you, you luck sack. I very talented. You win. By. Yeah. You get by. Where's my Kalitas? Cheese by. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, there we go. Kalitas. Taking in that Kalitas for that spicy stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double, triple Kalitas. No, just double. What double? <laughs> triple? Uh? Triple Kalitas. No, uh. <laughs> 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 uh Reef here at 5 mana, Angel of Invention. Oh, oh, oh gotta oh. turn off that, that oh, crazy hey. auto. Bro, turn it bigger, man. Auto, auto focus. I want to keep track of the chat, though. It's, we are two viewers, man. What's going to talk? I don't know. No, but, uh, hey, if you guys stop talking, then we'll not talk to you at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, it's just it's one guy and us view, it's viewing it's right now. Just one guy and us. That's it. That's all there is. I mean, this is for you. we're probably just recording this for YouTube content since we are we are actually um, yeah we're fighting against Pro Tour. Uh, Pro Tour How do you beat Kyoto. Pro Tour? No, no. In the evening when we have the top eight, that's when people will be tuning in. Oh yeah. That's when we have the like five hundred viewers that are like, I'm hungry for more, man. I want to watch that standard action. Give me my magic, man. <laughs> then they and watch then. scrubs like Alfian Poon. Yeah. Scrub yeah. Out. Why, dude? Why the card so bad, man? This oh, is uncommon. I accidentally yeah. the bend. Throw away. Anyway, uh, so Jeffrey here looks like he's uh, mostly in control. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The lightning... Uh, lightning... What do you call it? Hunter's uh, Lightning. Hunter's Lightning, yeah. Dealing quite a bit of damage. But Reef doesn't really care about that because all he has to do is just resolve a uh, God Pharaoh's gift. Which is pretty here, hard. Oh, yeah. What he wants to do is probably to mill away the God Pharaoh's gift and then get it back with Refurbish. refurbish. Yeah. That would be a fast way to get How are you going to resolve gift. that with like counter spells? Yeah. yeah, look at Jeffrey's hand. Uh, th th which is why I think the black version is, is nicer to use. Oh, why? Because the black version, you have access to... What's that? Fi the 5-4... Five, uh, that the black gear hulk, oh, and the then the you Noxious got a white, gear yeah, noxious gear hulk, and then you got a white gear hulk as well as uh, hand disruption. Oh, okay. So you could, you know, I all right. So champion of wits here gonna uh, net reeve two more cards unless it gets countered. I don't think thi wait. This is a uh, eternalize. I don't think eternalize can be countered. All right. So glimmer of genius, uh, Jeffrey here probably looking for a disallow. Yep, definitely. And, uh, because uh, this is the only thing that can stop him here because this is uh, ability, not a uh, yeah, not a uh, summon. Man, the the oh, the tokens, tokens a lot, a lot of tokens here. Yeah, very hard to distinguish. They're all black. 
They're all black, then they're looking like zombies, then they're all covered in blue. Like, oh, so yeah, that. yeah. It's, like, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's not, not easy, easy to look at. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we have some of the tokens. And there's a giant stack of tokens there. Uh, because there are so many eternalized creatures, uh, it's going to be a bit hard for Reeves to, to find one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nope, nope. I think Jeffrey nope. had it in hand, actually. Yeah, okay, all right. So it's just, you know, flexing. Uh, so, yeah. Now my Reef, Reef there doing the work. We appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Reef. So Reef taking five here. Okay. It, 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 it's still a three turn clock. He's got quite a bit of time. Although, uh, that wandering fumaro hitting the battlefield does, uh, you know, reduce the clock by one more turn. Yeah. So unless Reef has an answer here, or he might just eternalize his, uh, his uh, Sunscourge champion and dump the other Sunscourge champion that's in his hand. Um, he might want to do that. So here's okay. the Sunscourge champion number one. Which, ah, that's okay. You know, Jeffrey, it's Jeffrey all right. not worried. Yes, Trevor Inspector. Mm. Okay, good card. Uh, yeah, Trevor Inspector is still a good card. He could just play is refurbished right now but that would just lead into Jeffrey's negate uh, I'm not quite sure what this yeah refurbished refurbished dirt refurbished dirt okay so there was a clue there was, uh, yeah I, I, I set aside the clue because mm. yeah guess what you good it's an Emra clue uh, which is not funny now. Which yeah, is which? It used to no, be funny. It, so it used to be funny, and then it was not funny because he had to explain the joke. And now it's funny because uh, Emraku is banned, so it's oh. funny again. So we went through that cycle. I'm of not like sure if it's trippy. funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still not funny anymore. Uh, and then it's gonna rotate out, and then we got no more clues. Oh yeah. Yeah, we should make another. Yep. We should make another. Your opponent is here, Alfia. You have to fight. That's your opponent. Oh, 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 you all are, you all are. Yeah, but Kayu's like 15 minutes late, man. One, one round, no, it's round, okay. one loss. It's so. okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to lose him on that. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, you gotta fight the fair fight, huh? Let me just remove the my fire, fair Supreme fight. Wheels for my disallows. Why is Supreme Wheels so good? I don't like Supreme Wheel. I no, really, you don't I, like? I really don't like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, Jeffrey here getting in with his torrential gear hulk, but uh, Reef not having any of that, just block, block, block. Let's see, let's see, is that nope? That's not God Pharaoh's gift. He's got to discard two cards, and it's probably going to be oh, torrential. Oh, okay, the cataclysmic gear hulk also goes well. Cataclysmic gear hulk is pretty good, but uh, Jeffrey here only has one creature, so. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go play my opponent. Uh, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Man, here. Ah, uh, what does he want? What does he want? Okay, so he's gonna pick the refurbish. And in the graveyard goes another strategic. Uh, another strategic planning. He actually wanted to pick out the strategic planning, but um, you know, I don't. I don't think that will be useful. Like you want that refurbish to try to resolve and you want to try to resolve a second refurbish on top of that. Okay, here Jeffrey gonna be able to draw two cards. Maybe draw another two cards on top of that. If he does have okay, so Magma Spray does get rid of the champion for good. And yeah, man, Jeffrey's hand is just stacked. I think he can get rid of the of the eternalized creature as well. Alfian, close the door, man. Oh, oh well. Looks like I gotta close the door. So yeah, Reef, Reef here, no, no risk of dying. But I think uh, you know, Jeffrey here has been able to collect enough cards to, uh, to you know, just stone Jeffrey, uh, uh, stone Reef out. And yeah, Jeffrey, no, no fear of dying, just about yet. Here he goes. He has the uh, gate to the aft. Uh, sorry, the um, God Pharaoh's gift. He might want to try to fire off the God Pharaoh's gift now, and that's probably going to get negated. And uh, since Reef is playing blue, white, green, he's playing burnt colors. He might have access to counter spells afterwards. 
Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the ability to go, uh, you know, a second, uh, second, uh, sorry, a refurbished to get back a God Pharaoh's gift. Okay, so here we go. And I think Jeffrey wants to to finish off this game now. 14 points of damage, that's a lot. Jeffrey gonna look for some cards. I think he doesn't need to draw any more cards anymore, but uh, he keeps those two. And uh, uh, chooses not to harness lightning. And he'll probably harness lightning now, since he's got two more. He needs red lands though, he needs more red lands than uh, than he has currently. He could finish off this game. And he does see the refurbish in the graveyard, so he's got to figure that Reeve does have refurbished in his graveyard. So, Harness Lightning, get rid of that dude. And uh, maybe just go in for the kill right now. Yep. Looks like he is. And they're going in for 14 points of damage and that's it so yeah reef doesn't get an extra turn he only had like two mana up which uh, could represent quite a few things but yeah this gets blown out by a negate trying to resolve his god pharaoh's gift so uh reef here playing a really spicy deck he wants to dump the god pharaoh's gift into the graveyard and dump that cast a uh refurbish to get it back and like all his eternalized creatures are really really fantastic it's got champion of wits it's got sunscourt champion it's got uh you know even thraban inspector into the graveyard comes back as a 4-4 gets you a clue you know additional two mana will allow you to draw an extra card so You've got to be you got to be a little concerned about what the God Pharaoh's gift can do. Uh, best cards in this matchup on Jeffrey's side would be a braid. Best cards on Reef's side would probably be counter spells, negates, and dispels. And let's see whether he brings it in. I think you can start taking out the the gear hulk, the 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 white gear hulk. I I tend to you know I, I I was thinking maybe you should be running the red color gear hulk. The red color gear hulk is fantastic in this matchup. Uh, even if it dies, then you can get it back with refurbished. And if it survives, uh, your opponent will be probably giving you three cards because you don't want to be flipping over like two or three God Pharaoh's gifts at one shot and just take you know twenty one to date automatically from one trigger. So you gotta watch out for that. Alright, if you're just joining us, you're watching the monthly winner box here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mekka, I'm one of your hosts. Uh, I was joined earlier by Alfian, but I think he'll join me after round 2 when he's 0-2 and drop. <laughs> uh, but if you want to know what this winner box thing is, our invitationals, so to speak, uh, is all about, just head on over to greyogregames.com. Basically... You play these uh, weekly and monthly events to rack up qualification points. And once you get 30 qualification points, you can participate in the seasonal qualifiers. That's right. And in the seasonal qualifiers, it's free. It's an invitational. You get invited and you play. Uh, minimum, you get one, Q, uh, one championship point at max. You can get forty championship, uh, thirty championship points, and that will the first two place, uh, the first two places will qualify you for the uh, the championship at the end of the year. So the championship, up to five thousand dollars in prizes, the top sixteen players throughout the year with championship points will get invited to this tournament, and uh, yeah uh you know if you if you make it out alive it's 16 players it's fantastic it's going to be like eight or nine rounds worth of play throughout the entire day with a double elimination bracket for the lower half of the table so it's going to be hell of fun yeah so yeah players here shuffling up uh reef here tr struggling to find a champion of wits uh token and apparently Apparently it isn't there. I'm pretty sure I've seen some lying around, so, you know, maybe not fortunate enough to find it. So yeah, for those of you who've been watching, let me go and check the uh, comments. So nobody in, nobody in the chat, that's okay. That's okay, man. We're okay, no problem. Oh, looks like Wilson's going to be joining me. 
Wilson, come sit down. Let's go and chit chat. Hey, close the door. Close the door. So yeah, uh, both players. I hope they don't mix up their decks. I know I've been. I I have mixed up my deck before. Like I I shuffled my deck for a draft. Uh-huh. And because I use the exact same sleeves, uh, you know, I I put it down. I shuffled my opponent's deck. I put it down in front of me, and I, I drew seven cards. I didn't look at it yet, and it's like, hey, dude, that's my deck. It's like, oh yeah, that's your deck. And I just <laughs> handed well, him the seven cards. But at least you didn't like open up seven cards. Yeah, I didn't like go look at it. Say, hey, this card is not familiar. I, I don't think I was drafting like blue red. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're off to the races. Anyway, for those of you who just joined us, this is the monthly winner box here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Makeup One of your hosts alongside Wilson. Hello. I need to give you a nickname. I need to give everyone a nickname. Uh, what nickname do you want? I usually don't ask people what they want for their nicknames. I have no idea. Maybe uh, I can develop a personality here after a while. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like... You're you're the artist here, right? Yeah. You're the designer. Yes, I handle uh, mostly the branding work of like, for Grey Ogre Games. So right, like, the so playmat you see right there. Yeah. yeah, that's yours. I love yeah. the playmat. I honestly like un- you know, up to today, like I love this playmat. Thank like you. there is uh, you know. Uh, number one, I mean like it looks beautiful, it's got all the branding and stuff like that on it. I, I do score players who try to put their playmat over it <laughs> with like the MTG Asia and shit like that. Like, <laughs> no, this is not good for branding people. <laughs> you know, we give you a playmat, just use the playmat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah. Reef here opting not to crack his clue, but uh, also because he uh, followed the play up with a uh, what do you call it? Sunscourge, Sunscourge Eternal or Sunscourge Champion. And here we go. Uh, what's that? The Vessel of Nascency. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll get him. We'll get him the God Pharaoh's gift in the uh, graveyard. Supreme Will here. Gonna get Jeffrey to impulse. And does he find anything that he wants? I think he does. He need lands right now. Uh, might want an additional land. He does have two lands in hand, which um. You know, the extra third land would help him get to gear Hulk mana, but he opts for a Glimmer of Genius, and I think that's the right move. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to see the Glimmer of Genius in the set of three that he was, or that impulse hand that he was looking at. They essentially give him more options, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, as a, uh, as a control player, I think what you want... Ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is not a good draw. <laughs> that is... Not a good draw. But you want the Sunscourge Champion to hit the graveyard, which is fine. Uh, you can pitch the... Uh, what do you call it? You can pitch the... Oh, what's his name? Uh, Trouble Inspector to the Sunscourge Champion to get back a 4-4 instead. Which is a lot more powerful. Angel of Invention here. I might want to fabricate... Does uh, Jeffrey decide that no, this is not... This is not what you should be doing this turn. Uh, so he yep, opts to go for the token. Servo, servo, double servo. I think it was a servo. Oh. They're like around side. Yeah, servo, servo. Yeah, there's another servo. That's not a topter. There's a topter? Oh, whoops. Yeah. Man, our token pile is messed up. We need to. Yeah, we, we need, need to go, go and rearrange, uh, rearrange our token pile. Okay, so double servo and swings in for five points of damage right now. Uh, Jeffrey might just take the take the damage. He goes down to eleven and then fire off the glimmer of genius as the control player. Like I was saying, you want to be able to you know turn three supreme will, which is why I think the the oh, cut is fantastic. He abraded the angel. Yeah, uh, angel goes down, and uh, just takes three points of damage from that. Uh, you want a supreme will, and then you want to. Uh, go off and um, and Glimmer of Genius in turn 4 uh, but unfortunately is unable to do that Hour of Devastation maybe? Mm. nope okay Sorry. so Dragon Master our cast here and uh, next next turn he'll be able to get a big big dude but maybe he just runs it out here for protection just to block I think he can give it up it's okay and then Glimmer of Genius to follow up on that. Swings in with the team. Mm. And Jeffrey here going to drop down to 8. That's okay. 
Because this Glimmer of Genius go here going to resolve unless, of course, Reef puts on a bit more pressure and he should be able to. Uh, another... Yeah, another Throbber oh. Inspector. He's got to be a bit worried because maybe Jeffrey has a, you know, board wipe that is holding an hour of devastation. But if he had an hour of devastation, he wouldn't be... Um, he wouldn't be running out that Dragon Master outcast. But maybe that's what he's looking for. So, let's see. Hour of Devastation. Okay, so these two cards are not going to get you there. I think you can bottom these two cards and draw two cards. And looks like Jeffrey agrees with me. Oh, it's a Is that... Oh, no. That's, a, oh. that's just a Harness Lightning. But the Harness Lightning is still good. Um... A void Shadow is also a very good. So Harness Lightning here is an interesting draw because right now what Jeffrey can do is just to drop the Torrential Gear Hulk and then abraid, abraid the Sunscourge Champion and then block the Sunscourge Eternal and then just take 4 points of damage going down to 4. Uh, but he has to watch out for things like... Uh, well, right now there's nothing in the graveyard to, to recur back so it's okay. Yeah, but uh, an activation of the Lumbering Falls is going to be really problematic. That would be quite back backbreaking, actually. And then that will bring him down to one, and that's not a place that you want to be, man. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Reeve. I think Reeve should just go in, go for an all-in all in attack. Yeah, yeah. all-in attack. Uh, Jeffrey probably will just kill off the four, four, and the two, three, and take three, four, five, six, seven points of damage. Okay, player, players here are a bit confused about who's going to come back, who's going to come back. Okay, so he's going to swing in with everything. Doesn't activate the. Uh, does that activate the lumbering falls here? Okay. Gonna braid, yep. yep, and then block the four four. Take four points of damage. Reef here missing three points of damage unless he has a follow up. Uh, White, yeah. Green. Hmm. So the follow up will probably be to get the Sunscatch champion back. Uh, but by then I think it's a bit too late because Jeffrey here would be getting a 5-5 dragon every single turn. Mm. Unless of course Reeve has an answer to that, but I don't think he does. So Man, why didn't they? Uh, now I know why they did not uh they they ban uh what's his name? Uh Reflector Mage. Because in this set, these two sets like when you eternalize you get back tokens and reflector mage becomes so so powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now I start to realize why they had to ban Reflector Mage because Reflector Mage is so gonna be so oppressive in this uh in this meta game. He just passes the turn. Uh, Jeffrey here with seven mana up and mm, juicy juicy stuff to do. But now this is this is the part where I think Reef messed up last turn. Reef should have just swung in with the entire team and now. Uh, the the opportunity has passed. One, dragon's two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, dragon's there to block, so he's got at least three blockers, uh, and some removal. He's got four blockers at uh at most, with the wandering fumarole, and then you can cast a one. I mean, like you could block with the wandering fumarole, and then still do stuff. So you know, still cast your your negate, so still cast your removal. And this is where it becomes a little problematic. This is where I think Reeve missed an opportunity last turn that uh, he should have capitalized on that. As long as the um, creature stays that generates the dragons, so yeah. I feel that it will be uh, quite a difficult upward climb for Reese at this point. And even now, you know, if Jeffrey trades off the, the Dragon Master Alcas, he he's in no, you know, no, no fear of dying anymore. Uh, because you've got a five five, you've got a five six, and they can block. Mm. And if you need B, if need B, you can swing in with the uh, you know with a flying five five. And Reef doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, he's got 
you know, from there he's got extra life. Mm. But uh, you know, that dragon's just going to chip away at your life total. And here he's going to bring in another uh, Kenra, sorry, a Sunscourge champion, mm -hmm. get another four life. And so that increases the, uh, you know, Jeffrey's. Uh, in increases Reeves' window to draw something relevant. Pull from tomorrow here for five. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this is bad. I'm sorry, man. Reef, this is where you messed up. He's going to discard the land. I think, you know, yeah, maybe he should keep the mountain. No, discard the mountain. Uh, values the island a bit more because he is running Disallow and uh, Void Shadow in his, in his hand. And oh, there's another torrential gear hog, which means that he can get back the glimmer of genius or a um supreme verdict. Mm -hmm. He has six mana with two mana up supreme for will, yeah. uh, supreme will. Yeah, oh, supreme verdict would be good <laughs> in this format, so yeah. good. Can't be counted somewhere, yeah, can't be counted. Uh, can be eaten up by spell queller though, which is uh, unfortunate, but yeah. Uh, let's see, Jeffrey here has the ability to fire off the torrential gear hog. Oh. Okay, okay Hunter's Lightning. Hunter's Lightning going to get rid of one of the Sunscourge champions uh, just in case. And has a grip full of cards. Like, this is this is where he wants to be. So, I think uh, what a proper answer, uh, I wouldn't say answer, but more like uh, an option for Reese is to play maybe Trample. Yeah. At that point. Yeah, yeah but Trample, even Trample is not going to be... Uh, Oh, okay. Void Shadow here going to hit the Champion, Champion of Wits, Wits. Uh, which will allow Reef to just cycle through a bit more cards from his deck. Uh, another dragon. So, Trample is not going to be too useful um, because right now, Jeffrey just has a lot of stuff. And even if there was Trample, like, I don't think you, you wouldn't block. Like, Jeffrey is the type of player where once he's ahead, he'll start thinking, okay, how do I lose this game? And that's why people need to, you know, that's why people need to understand. And uh, when we cast, that's always the three three questions we ask. What uh, What's the best draw or what's the best play? What's the best draw I can have? And what's the, what's the thing that will make me lose this game? Mm. And when you're ahead, the first, uh, you know, is is a very Japanese thing to do, but like it always goes in your head. Okay, how do I lose this game? What sequence of draws will my opponent have such that I'll lose this game? Mulligan down to four. You know, even when they're mulligan down to four, it's like okay, the you know he keeps if he has a one two three drop, and then I don't have one two three removal. Like what is going to happen? And so you gotta play like that. I see. Oh man, second Dragon Master outcast. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. And I think that kind of like shows like the expertise of a player if they were to recognize the kind of like lunch. Oh, food, lunch, lunch, food, food, lunch, lunch, okay, food. I'm good. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm good. I'm good. Had had a good breakfast, man. Right. Uh, okay, so as wow. I was saying, it's like the yeah. it, the the expertise of knowing what your opponents might cause to ruin your board state is <laughs> like, or to make you lose the game is like a show off. Yeah, it's a, it's a show right? of yeah. experience. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of experience. It's that's that's uh, like a part of the beginners and the, the, the veterans. Wow, okay. Wow, so now he's going to be getting... Yeah, two now dragons. Double <laughs> dragon. Wow, okay. Uh, Billy and... What, what's the... Jimmy and Billy. <laughs> so every time he's going to be like churning out Jimmy's and Billy's and they say a negate for the... Uh, gate, uh, what's wow. that? Uh, the, 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 the gift? God Pharaoh's gift, yeah. yeah. And at this point, oh, yeah, that's the handshake that, because yeah. <laughs> there's nothing that uh, Reef can do because mm. next turn he's going to be swinging with uh, four dragons, four or five dragons, mm. yeah, and uh, and producing two dragons a turn. Mm. So that's it. Uh, Jeffrey wins the game, uh, wins the match by two points to uh, zero, I believe. Yeah, I didn't update the score yet, so two points to zero. Uh, we are going for a short break. I'll put you on a replay of... Um, oh, man. We don't have any standard. This thing, we haven't been firing our standards. You could show them like. their grudge match back in SQ1. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll probably bring up... Uh, no, we want, want something more relevant. All right, sure. Uh, maybe I'll show modern. Who knows? I don't know. I'll put you on a commercial break and then we'll see what happens. But before we go, I just want to remind you that you can watch 
the stream every Tuesday and Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Singapore time. Uh, for Standard and Modern, myself and Alfia, we host the shows. Uh, we also have some on the weekends, so make sure you tune in and uh, keep subscribed to this channel to get the latest updates. If you don't, uh, you know, watch Twitch too much, you are watching this probably on YouTube, youtube.com slash Games. We upload all our... Uh, replays on there if you want to find out more information about the about the Grey Ogre Games Invitationals head on down to greyogregames.com and uh, last but not least do listen to the Power 9 podcast myself and Alfian we get Power together Nine. every week and we talk shop about this little game called <laughs> Magic the Gathering alright uh, gonna go for a short break so don't go away we'll be right back hey, see ya